another day, another hotel, another hotel review. Come and find out where I am this time. Hi, it's Craig. Welcome back to Craig's Life and welcome to another hotel room review. Today is the 1st of December and I've actually already stayed in this hotel for two nights already. So I am in the Bridge Hotel in a place called Greenford, which is just outside of London. We're not far from Wembley. It's called the Bridge because just out there is the A40 and uh, the A40 basically comes uh, into central London and if you go out it turns into the M40 and right by this hotel is the flyover bridge hence the name Bridge Hotel. This is a standard room it has cost me £280 for three nights which is £93.33 um, per night which for London prices actually is not too terrible. There's also a nice little pub and bar here as well. I ate here on the first night when I arrived. It was a lousy selection. In fact, there was only four items. There was a burger, a vegan burger, bangers and mash, fish and chips. But that said, the food was actually very nice. But let's have a little look at the room and see what you think. So here is the view that we are greeted with as we walk into the room. So it's a pretty standard um, room. It's um, as we walk in, we've got a television here on the wall. You can just see that cable there is actually from my Amazon Fire Stick. A uh, little unit there, table with a couple of chairs. And the bed is actually um, two single beds which have actually been zipped together. When the duvet is actually zipped together, you can actually feel the zip in the in the middle of it. That said, it is actually very comfortable. It's 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 quite a comfy bed. I'm 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 quite pleased with it. We have got no power sockets either side of the bed. So as you can see from down there, I've had to run my um extension lead but it is not the end of the world uh, we have some uh, water here in in bottles i don't know how long that water has been there so i'm not prepared to drink it um but um i've brought my own anyway uh there is a fan it is actually very warm in the, this room uh it is actually quite nippy outside so it's nice to actually have a little fan just to cool the room down a little bit uh, over here we've got uh, tea and coffee making and these are Ikea cups. We also have um, little um, milks, um, nothing unusual about that. But what we have got here as well is we've got some oat milk. Now I have never seen that before in a hotel where they provide you with oat milk. So if you've got anybody who's got a lactose intolerance or is vegan or just wants something a little bit different in their tea and coffee, then then there you are. That is actually um, quite nice to see. And there's also a, a hot chocolate there as well and just a little uh, view back the other way um we have got an air conditioner unit there but as you know me i don't usually use those anyway now just walking this way i thought when i first came in this is very odd there's no wardrobe here because we have this on here which looks like a stopper to stop the door bashing into it but it is actually the wardrobe with a few hangers an iron and an ironing board and this is the second hotel in as many weeks that I've seen that has actually got a trouser press in it quite an old trouser press but um, yeah that, you, you know you don't see a trouser press for years and all of a sudden two of them come along so uh, yes yeah, so you've got a little bit of hanging space there let's move on to the bathroom so here we have a pretty uh, standard bathroom with a selection of uh, toiletries of course i've got my bag there i've brought my own we do have very nice big fluffy towels there um, the one i've been using is is on the back of the door and here we've got um shower over the bath um, with quite a clean shower screen it's signs of a little bit of mildew there but it's it's okay interesting shower head precious pathetic okay you know it, it's useless but it's a really heavy shower head and it looks like it's got a filter built into it so it filters the water so you don't get dirty scaly shower heads which is quite good uh, shame the pressure is not a little bit better so on the whole this hotel looks like it's got quite the decent package and it's got everything going for it however 
let's just scrape a little bit under the surface and see what is actually going on. Like this, the pictures have actually dropped down in the frames. And this is both pictures in the room. Above the bed, for example, looks like something's been touched up, but doesn't even match. We have a lot of examples of scuffs all the way along all of the walls, as well as with dated furniture. And if I turn the other way, a lot of scuffing right the way along there. Now, if hotels are getting quite a lot of abuse, you can kind of expect this. We have a little bit of wear there. It looks like it's been repainted in here, so it's not necessarily a bad job. The ceiling is clean, but you can see it looks like it's been done in a rush where you've got your overspray there. And even to the point on the towel rail, you've just got a lot of paint splashes. So it looks like it's been done quite quickly. The back of the bathroom door here at the bottom is showing an awful lot of damage from water. What I don't understand is if you've got that much of a gap between the bottom of the door and the floor, how come there's so much water damage? So there you go. This is the Bridge Hotel in Greenford, just outside of London. I'm going to give this hotel a score, but I'm also going to do something a little bit different as well. I'm going to score the hotel on my scale of one being the worst, five being the best. But what I'm also going to do is say, would I stay here again? So as far as the score is concerned, the hotel isn't all that bad. There are a few rough edges. Um, there is, as I say, a nice pub style bar here it is warm it is comfortable the wi-fi is fairly reliable there is car parking it is free car parking which is unusual for uh, areas around london but this is a residential area more around here uh, i don't know what is in this area so the question is is what score am i going to give this hotel and yeah we'll call it a three and a half let's call it a three and a half i think three will be a bit tight um, four would be too generous, so let's go in the middle. We'll call this a three and a half. The question is now, would I stay here again if I was in this area? Maybe. Yes, I would think, yes, I would, because I know, although there are rough edges and there are superior rooms in this hotel as well, which I um, um, were not available when I booked it through uh, my booking agent, um, I... Um, would stay here again because we've got everything we need. So here we are. This is uh, the Bridge Hotel, Greenford. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you right here on Craig's Life. Bye-bye.